I'm just trying to sculpt a horse from memory now. And I don't remember the last time I was next to a horse. <laughs> Welcome to Without Instructions Figurines. We are all gonna make our own figurine and they're gonna be judged by a panel of judges. I'd like the figurine today to be identifiable. Oh, there's so many things that could go wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. How am I gonna make this work? Oh no! Forged in the fires of Try Guys Studio. <laughs> Getting hot in here. And we are making figurines today because our collector boys are almost here. If you ordered one, they are on the way. And if you haven't ordered one, there's still time. Go to tryguys.com. You can get yourself a little collector boy. Bring them home for the holidays. Figurine is a toy that sits there, like stands on its own. It's poseable. Toys you play with more, figurines you display more. A figurine is not an action figure, okay? This is for grown-ups. This ain't no kid shit. I'm Jamie, and I'm qualified to judge uh, figurines because uh, I'm a kid, you know? <laughs> so, that's why I'm here. Do you own toys, figurines? What do you got? Yeah, I own some Funkos here and there, you know. Kevin from The Office. That's a good yeah, one. That's a good, okay. one. That's a good, one. Yeah, good figurine. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I did not have Eugene doing a Kevin impression on my bingo card. I am Lauren, otherwise known as Lord DIY, and I make shit. And I am the host of Craftopia on HBO Max. Hi, my name is CH. I am a creative director and toy designer for Snap Creative, and I was the designer of the Try Guys Collective Boys. As a creative director, I like to try to think in the universe for whatever project I'm working on. So, for instance, for the Try Guys, it was really fun playing with the fashion, the poses, the accessories that they were holding. So this gray one right here, that would be our first initial output for sizing. Uh, usually it's done on a FDM printer, so it's plastic material just going from the ground up. We then move to a more high definition output. This even has enough quality and detail to where we actually assembled the electronics inside as well. My so. child is gonna see this someday. So. Very cool. This is equivalent to what the guys will be making today. This would be considered our prototype. For the guys to be doing this all in one day, I'm, I'm very anxious to see how this turns out. Let's boop and bop. Step one. Step one, draw. Draw. So we should start right now? Yeah, you should start right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what's everybody doing? I'm doing gay horse. If you remember on our past Without Instructions video, we tried to make plushies and I was attempting to make a unicorn. And then it ended up without a horn, without a mouth, without a couple legs. I'm returning to the initial inspiration for Gay Horse, except this time I'm going all out. I'm making gayest horse. I'm making an alicorn, baby. What's an alicorn? Pegasus and unicorn. Oh, hell yeah. You idiot, dumb. Yeah. Oh, really all my literature. years of playing Magic the Gathering and I've never come across an alicorn. I'm making a little caterpillar with a bunch of legs called Legs for Days. His name's Days and he's got a lot of legs. Growing up, I didn't have a lot of figurines. I had mostly starships, cars. I pitched this to my three-year-old and he was like, it sounds fun. He's a pretty forgiving audience. <laughs> <laughs> now Eugene, I too am revisiting a classic. I'm bringing back Ugly Keith. Now, Ugly Keith was robbed of a victory once upon a time. I don't think it's a plushie, I think it's a doll. I think it's a big-headed Ugly Keith doll. I believe in second chances, which is why I am giving Lauren a chance to see how wrong she was. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I'm making a, uh, a giant bird who's like disguised as a man. We'll have a little like very classic, just flat face, smiley face mask that goes around like you might wear at Halloween or something. And the beak will hopefully go into the nose. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Hopefully I can really drive it home today. I, I really wanna impress everybody. Okay, molding time. So we have a uh, sculpting oven bake clay. Ooh, so how fast the... does it bake? 15 minutes per quarter inch. Oh no. Is that quarter inch? Thickness or length? Probably the best situation is trying to get everyone's in the oven as fast as possible. I wonder if this is the type of clay that if there's air bubbles inside, it'll totally burst. Do I make all of the pieces and then bake them separately and combine? Or do I bake one 
fully formed sculpture. So if there's glue, you could glue pieces that are separate together after the base. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's better here. I think I have to sculpt this like a statue. Yeah. Because otherwise, it has to hold wings and stuff, you know? But let's just go for it, I guess. If I had any advice for the Try Guys, I would say to try to keep it simple. I think I might always be shooting myself in the foot in these challenges by going for realism over cartoonishness. Same, same. I feel like my artistic ability is just so infinite that can't be contained in a two hour time frame. You joke now, but I'm actually being serious. I think creating a realistic horse yeah, it's hard, it's man. not easy to sculpt. With toy design, you want everything to be as clean as possible. I don't know how to hide my seams, you know? They're quite ugly. Ugly Keith, lean in. I have to assume somebody's gonna take these figures and look at every angle. So I think about every angle and I always try to consider the things that people might not be looking at. And although no one will ever see the wings because he's masqueraded, it'd be nice if the wings had some texture. I would say for clay sculpting, it's important to keep in mind the final texture. If you're seeing a lot of those tool marks or fingerprints, it's a good idea to just kind of smooth it out. Oh, I remember something from art class. To stick things together, you're supposed to score it. Am I the only one going for a hollow structure here? Why are you going hollow? Because this is hollow. And we said that a quarter inch takes however long to bake. Leaving a clay figurine solid all the way through could end up being pretty problematic. You don't want to have something that's too heavy or too hard to handle. Every time I look at this, I'm like, I think a horse is thicker, but I guess it is a gay horse, so. Gay horse been working out. What did oh, you horse. say in the last video that made me? I think I said skinty. You look so skinty, hunty. Yeah. <laughs> what is the proper phrase? I don't think there's a proper phrase for you, Ned. <laughs> oh, got it, got it, got it. Got it. God, he's too cute. Like, are you kidding me right now? He's the cutest little potato man you've ever seen. He's got one, two, three, four, five segments for 10 potential legs and a cute booty. Okay, looking good. You're already in the oven. Well, yeah, cause I got 20 legs to make. Maybe I'll give him a job of the hut body. Just like a slug of a man. I told you. I was over 200 pounds in confidence. <laughs> Keith, this has nothing to do with you. It You're feels beautiful. like it has something to do with you. You're me. beautiful, Keith. To me personally, what makes a good figurine is balance. I like to make sure that my figurines are easy to put on display. I've had a few where I've had them on display and I've come back the next day and they're face down and it's like, what happened? I'm not sure if I want to go forward with my plan. I'm nervous. I accidentally made my head so large that it's hard for me to imagine that any body, no matter how pudgy, it won't be able to hold him up. So I'm thinking of pivoting to uh, Ugly Keith Lang, kind of a paint me like one of your French girls moment. The face is it's just this. <laughs> Pretty darn scary if you ask me. But you know, it's it's a face. I just want the main to have a sense of motion, but I'm afraid it's looking Justin Timberlakey circa in sync. Ooh. Right? It's a little Yeah, I don't have time to change it. I've got a dinosaur leg and a kraken tentacle. I'm gonna check on my caterpillar here. Ah, my caterpillar's in two pieces! Oh no! To stick things together. You're supposed to score it. The scoring didn't work. I need the glue. Really hurts my hands. Yeah, hurt my hands, daddy. Hurt me. Hurt me, daddy. Man, you're so hot, it so hurts. Hot. Oh God, you're so, so hot. You look so skinty, hunty. My mobility is way- Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I cracked my little caterpillar. <laughs> You know, who's to say how long a caterpillar is, Ned? Uh, hey, is it called segments for days, Ned? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna figure out a way to bake the jacket so it's a hard piece that can go on the bird's wings. So it's a removable piece. So you can have all the fun of a bird and the fun of a bird pretending to be a person. The jacket has little human hands already in it. Let's go bake some birds. Chair leg, cat leg, horse leg. I feel like I need a horse leg. Eugene, you have an extra horse leg? Haven't made any legs yet, no. <laughs> Speak for yourself, brother. 
I'm making legs for days over here. I certainly have the artistic vision down, but I don't have much in terms of time management. But my logic was get the magic stuff on because I didn't get any magical elements on my last without instructions. So certainly you know this is an alicorn. Alicorns fly, so like, why do they need legs? I can't make legs fast enough. Hmm. He's standing. Does he have a mustache? Yeah, he has a mustache. Oh, all right, Keith has a mustache. That's what makes him ugly, he said. Now, if an ugly Keith wore pants, would he wear it like this or like this? How much time is left? One hour. Yikes. The texture is perfect. Yeah, mine's pretty cracked. I'm starting with just a primer to fill in those cracks. I need to get this up somehow and just pray that it doesn't fall apart. If you are going to include a base, that should be something thought ahead of time. Uh, you don't want that to be an afterthought. Oh, shit. I am probably gonna paint clothes, but I'm gonna leave them naked as long as possible. Because here's the thing, he's hot right now. For the painting process, we typically use airbrushes. The reasoning for that is hand painting typically leaves brush strokes, even if you're trying super, super hard. It's really hard to hide the brush strokes. Just imagining the judge is saying, gosh, and the detail work on this Greg is incredible. <laughs> he looks just like Greg from Succession. He looks just like Greg from Succession. It's great. He looks like a foosball player. Greg the leg. We try to make sure that we have the colors correct from the initial design phase. So what you see here are Pantone colors, and I try to go in and match every single color that I picked in my first design for the factory to match perfectly. I'm uh, stabbing these and gluing them into the horse so they have more stability. Every time I push something in, uh, the horse feels like it's gonna crack. I tried to make the checkered shirt. It does look like spider webs. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it other than paint over it. We've got our three, the three expressions of the modern man. Surprised, angry, and I don't know, hungry. Realizing my, my little holes are a little too small. I'm just gonna try to get as much paint on him as possible. Again, I think I bit off more than I could chew. Oh, you hmm. covered up the spider web, huh? Yeah, but I made him British. UK? <laughs> UK? Oops. Why is he British? Ugly Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the judging portion of Without Instructions. Today we are judging figurines. Is it a fantasy character? What are its abilities? Is it easy to read just from looking at it. But also creative, like if we're just, you know, pulling out of the imagination, you know, it doesn't have to be a specific, uh, a Keith, you know, per se. Um, so I think creativity or, <laughs> did someone make a Keith? Here Lauren, we go. Lauren, we knew you and Jamie would be coming back, so. The, oh, this is plush. There's some redemption stories. I knew it. Jamie, I think, brought something today, did he not? I did. Uh, My prized possession. You're gonna be kidding oh, me. Wow. <laughs> this thing will not die! <laughs> there it is. Ugly Keith! <laughs> It stayed intact for like, I think about a year. <laughs> let's, let's not, let's not do that. <laughs> Judges, I believe in second chances. I also believe that the greatest love stories often begin with animosity. You know, if you, <laughs> if you see any great rom-com, there's this will they, won't they, where when they first meet, they're like, oh, I hate you, oh, I hate you too. But then by the end, <sighs> Gosh darn it, they find a way. Enemies to lovers. You get me. Judges, please close those eyes. All right. It's a very interesting setup. <laughs> okay. The presentation is very funny. I remember now. <laughs> I want you to paint me like one of your French ugly Keiths. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. No! <laughs> no! Oh my okay. god! Why 
does he have no pants on? <laughs> The mustache. New addition. Yeah. Just a coincidence, by the way. It's yeah. nothing to do with Very it. unrelated to yeah. the actual key. I'm loving this pose, and he balances. I love it. Well, you already <laughs> know that. You already knew I was going to say that. You didn't have to worry about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful. Oh, OK. Ooh. And we got a butt. You know, I said he balances, but I see the wobble. <gasps> I see the wobble. You know, he's meant to just kind of get there and stay there. Have you actually ever laid in that position? You're quite top lovable. Yeah, I, you know, it's very realistic. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. It's just like the mustache. It's a little creepy. I'm not. She's wow. she's out. She's wow. got. She's she's You can sue her. Shots fired. I think I could sue her. <laughs> <laughs> can we talk about the hair? I mean, did it's, I? It's I, I love it. It's pretty he's spot got on. like a mullet going on. Well, sometimes I don't get a haircut on time, and <laughs> this does sort of curl out. Lauren, which one do you like better? Because clearly, you love one of these. Maybe hold it and look into its eyes. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Just oh so my much. Oh god, the mustache. <laughs> I will say, I hate this one less. I think she means she likes it. No, 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 Jamie. This is the yeah. beginning Jamie, of every Jamie, great love story. Jamie, Jamie, I think it's well constructed. I think that it's poorly constructed, but it's well constructed in the sense that it looks like that. Make up your mind. <laughs> you should be head over heels right now. And I feel like you're like kind of conflicted. I will drop you're kick. Not, you're not I will ready. drop kick this ugly Keith as well so fast. What about the story it tells? I want this story to end <laughs> more than anything. I do love the idea of this, especially knowing the previous Ugly Keith. This is a good 2.0. I will say it does remind me of a little homemade roadside painted rock type <laughs> feel, but that doesn't necessarily mean those aren't good. Real quick, I can't remember. What was the best selling toy of the 80s? Oh, it was the pet rock. He's right. Oh my God. He is right. Wow, looks like I'm a Entrepreneur. Ooh, you're He's old. on it. We get it. You're born in the '80s. <laughs> this is probably the easiest to mold and mass produce. The paint decoration is not complicated. It still took me a long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Judges, is it a figurine? This is a, a cute, a cute figurine. Cute. 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 It's cute. Cute. It's cute. It's cute. Jamie is a cute. Look at the butt. It's so cute. <laughs> Thank you, judges. <laughs> Judges, so excited you guys are here today. I had a lot of fun with this. I am very pleased to present uh, something that stands not just on two legs, not just on four legs, but 10 legs. Legs for days. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a reaction. This, this is, is a little caterpillar named Days. His legs can be anything. And in fact, you can mix and match whichever legs you want. 20 different uniquely crafted handmade legs. What is this? That one, that's Greg. That's Greg the leg. This is Greg the leg. This is incredibly what is this? creative. Is it a babe? That's Minecraft leg. <laughs> Minecraft leg. But they're focusing on the legs, not on the creature. Well, it's probably easier to. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's not oh too, my god. It's not fragile. It's so fun. Chicken There's leg. A, a chicken leg, yeah, you, you see it. Oh, yeah, I you see it, it. Yeah, yeah, you see it, yeah, you see it. And don't forget to peep his cute little booty. It is a cute booty. <laughs> it's a good booty. <laughs> you can swap a leg if Sage, you want. Sage, will you yeah. swap a leg? Yes, I can, let's see. Wow. Put this one here. Oh, like it. Leg leg. Oh it's a little issue. Just jam it in there, man. <laughs> jam it in. <laughs> the clay was. Oh, oh no! Oh, See? no! Everything's falling apart. Yeah. Greg. No, no. Oh, Looks like Greg. we might might need to. Let me see. So, so let me show you what I was doing before. Is <laughs> it was a little tight. You know, from a product point of view, I love the accessories. There's potential for new accessories, more legs. Working on a small scale, a lot of these pieces are really good. Working with clay is really tough. Creativity, yeah, it's there. I think though, if we're going back to construction, I think you should have stuck with 10, 15, 20, I don't know. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> it does seem like he is stealing legs in some ways. Yeah, I got a villain story when I looked at it. I like <laughs> that he's like crossing universes. The more I'm looking at it, I'm like- steals legs from different creatures. I think so, so there's a seven-legged spider out there. Yeah. Some kid doesn't have his vape. <laughs> R.I.P. Gen Z. Vapes are for kids. <laughs> some kid doesn't have it. Judges, is it a figurine? Oh yeah. 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 This is a figurine. Judges, thank you.
Judges, a riddle. Not straight, but. Gay horse. Shut the f up <laughs> right now. Wow. Wow. What a level up. This is very bright and colorful. I oh love my this. God. Really beautiful. I mean, like, I'm kind of blown away, not even gonna lie. Like, it is an experience. <laughs> Just looking at it. Yeah. The movement is truly incredible. Like, Gay Horse has wind blowing through their mane. Yeah. <laughs> so gay. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't picked him up yet, so I'm excited to see if he uh, he holds it together. This thing is heavy. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh Oh my god! Wow. Interactive. I'm gonna be honest, the tail has a little a little bounce to it, which you know comes off as really fun and like part of the gamer's experience, but I do think we're about to lose the tail. <laughs> it's the conditioner, you know? It's one. <laughs> <laughs> Overall the construction is fucking incredible. I will say I can see every thumbprint. Like I, I have your DNA over here, mm -hmm. basically. Like, but overall, like I can see the texture that you put into the wings to recreate the feathers, the eyes look incredible, the nostrils are so great, the horn, a literal ass crack. A crack in the ass. Yes. This leg's really lifting up. <laughs> yeah, because you know he's just like, hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like a hey. hey. Yeah. I can't really say anything bad about it. It's like it's gay horse. Like, I don't know. It's just <laughs> <laughs> I really, really, really love this figure. I love the way you sculpted it. Creativity is on point. You knew what you wanted to do. I am a little concerned by just ever <laughs> slightly moving it and seeing movement from some of the pieces you glued in there. <laughs> Somehow you got glitter onto your face. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Jeez, a figure that keeps giving gifts, it seems. Also, Gay Horse bled on me. Oh. 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 So gay. So gay. So gay. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, is it a figurine? I don't really think so. I think it's more like a statue, which there's something to be said about that. This this feels like an art piece. You want this in a museum, for sure. My job here is done. Mm. Oh, oh no, where do I set him down? I don't know, I don't know. He was kind of in the middle. It's pretty oh, wet. You have to keep holding it. Gays notoriously do not know how to sit. <laughs> Judges, I wanted to bring a realistic figurine to the table today. That's why I'm presenting to you, Jay, the totally normal business human. <laughs> wow. He's just a regular business guy like you or me, wearing totally normal human stuff. Nothing to look at here. Can we talk about this? <laughs> Thank you. This subliminal messaging of how people wear masks every day. He gets it. And I mean, I go to a liberal arts school, so like, we see this, <laughs> we see this, we see this every day, just in the hallways. Oh my God, admissions would lose their, they, they, they freak, love this. they Thank freak you. out. If you were to know that the jig is up, he's a bird. <laughs> Okay. Fun. Wow. Super wow. fun. Sick. This is awesome. These, these are the types of figures that I gravitate towards when I go to conventions and I'm just trying to look for original funky pieces of art that I can put on display and a bird that's wearing a human mask. <laughs> that's the kind of weirdness that I, I like to put on my shelves. What kind of hat is that? Pirate? It's a colonial hat. Because when he looked down from space, he's obviously an alien race of bird, he saw the most important American figures in pictures wore those hats. Oh, he's a heavy boy. He's a, boy. He's he's a, he's a bird. A, he's a big boy. He's a... The details in these feathers are truly incredible. I also am a huge fan of the animation style where the eyeballs look like this. Yeah. I kind of wish the expressions were a little more animated. Like they all seem pretty unenthused. You know what I mean? So he's I just wish a normal business guy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like Jay not- just don't want you to look at it. I'm gonna say it, it's excellent. <laughs> no, are you kidding me? You're gonna give a lukewarm construction? Come on. You carved out a spot in each mask for the beak to sit in so that it's actually just like wearable. The, the construction's amazing. The only thing that I guess kind of threw me when I first saw it was the fact that he is wearing human faces. <laughs> so is this a scary thing? It's all Capitalism. symbolic, Capitalism. right? Capitalism. Yeah. yeah. What inspired you to do this? Like 2013, I wrote a song called Giant Bird in a Man Suit. You can tell by the way I move that I'm a giant bird in a man suit. I'm from space, an alien race of giant, giant birds. I mean. There definitely needs to be a push button on this, if that's the case. But like in a very monotone voice. You can tell by the way I walk that I'm a giant, I mean a man. <laughs> that's it, that's it. I'm just a regular guy. Uh, judges, is it a figurine? Very clearly a figurine. This but is a desk piece, this, that's your computer. This is this is 100% a desk piece. Thank you, judges. Try right, guys, you are dismissed so the judges and I can discuss in private. 
All right, judges, we have some tough decisions to make. I don't want to talk about ugly Keith, but I think that we have to. Yeah, it's my favorite. I couldn't help but smile when I first saw him. I think Gay Horse, at half the size, maybe it'd be a little cleaner in construction. Got a little lost in the ambition. Legs for Days is actually my favorite. He's like a funky Mr. Potato Head. And lastly, we've got Jay, just a regular man. It is creepy if you don't get to reveal that really cute bird underneath. I mean, I feel like I kind of like made this story for Keith, but I'm happy to do it. Yeah, first off guys, these are incredible. I mean, you are very familiar with the process that it goes through to make the Collect the Boys figurines. It was over a year of just back and forth, the output, the paint, the selection, all the details. So for you guys to come pack that into one day and bring us this, amazing. I mean, really, really great stuff. So. But even more amazing, the Collect the Boys available right now at tryguys.com. Go get yours. Wow. So after a lot of discussion, you know, we reviewed the pros and cons of each figurine and you know fourth place as lovely as it is uh, we were gonna have to go with Eugene for oh, Gay, horse. Gay Horse. We didn't feel that it was enough of a figurine it's a perfect statue. Gay Horse has been on the bottom twice now so yeah. he has his preference. <laughs> <laughs> and in third place oh, oh no 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 you know the story the story just wasn't quite there with third place so we're giving third place to Legs for days. Oh, dang. Thank you, judges, thank you. Wait, does this mean Keith wins either way? That's oh. true, that's true. Oh, wow. wow. It's a Keith versus Keith. Congratulations, Keith. <laughs> well, first place. They both tell stories. They're both beautiful in their own ways. But number one, The totally normal businessman Jay guy. Oh, thank you so much. It means so much. I had so much fun. Get your Try Guys collectibles at tryguys.com slash toys right now. And if you've ordered them already, if you pre-ordered them, they're going to be on their way soon. And Ugly Keith is Lauren's second favorite. That's a victory to me. Look at this happy family. Aww. <laughs> <laughs>